The change in China has been just incredible in the last 20 years. I, I, if, if I had to imagine that when I started visiting China, I would not believe what I say today. I often travel to other countries. Uh, the difference of the transformation is very, very impressive. In China, of course, the increase of the standard of life in the city has increased even much better, much more. I mean, the, the standard of life in some Chinese cities is just incredible, higher than in Europe sometimes. But in the countryside, the standard of life has also increased, not as much as in the city, but has increased very much. And I think this is maybe the, uh, the biggest success of the Chinese development policy, is to have been able to share part of the growth, of the economical growth, not only for the cities, but also in the countryside. And uh, if you ask me the reasons, I'm not an expert of the Chinese policy, development policy, but uh, I know some elements of it. And I think maybe the first point is that China is uh, uh, presenting very clear targets. They want to reduce the poverty everywhere and they announce it clearly. In other countries, this uh, announcement is not so clear. They just talk about economical growth, but they don't say we want to reduce the number of people below, that's, uh, that below a certain level of income. Another reason is very clear um, involvement of uh, companies, but also of the officials. So there are very clear um, uh, requirements that are addressed to the companies and to the officials and almost every part of the society saying that we must increase the level, the standard of life of especially the poorest in the country, which is a clear target. Don't think only about your standard of life. Don't get rich alone. Try to make other people richer too. That's very, very important because this is an assumed target by the whole society. We don't have, for the moment, in, in many other countries, we don't have such a clear target.